Peace, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to both praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Rock of the Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Rock of the Rock Kadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, our elders of GMS. Okay, and salutation, peace, and blessing to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, the people of Negro and Indian descent. All right. Okay, what I have here, I'm always looking at these things. As you know, you look at the whole picture, you'll see a lot, uh, especially when you use the uh, Bible as, re as a reference. Mention, when you mention thirst, when you mention famine of food, famine of uh, water, uh, the famine of the word. I mean, you look at the whole picture and, and you start to see a lot of things. But like I say, I always look at these things. Um, uh, just the earth, like looking at what's going on with the animals with the birds falling out the sky, with uh, all these different types of uh, sea creatures beaching themselves, you know, things like that. But um, and like I said, uh, uh, give a reference to uh, uh, thirst and, um, um, and, and uh, a famine of uh, water. Because um, I put a video up before with the uh, what's going on with uh, um, the Mississippi, the Great Mississippi. And the Ohio River. Now look at the Great Lakes. Now they're saying, and I'm going to go through a few of these. Now they're saying that the Great Lakes are so polluted that um, there is getting to the point that it can't even support um, the, the fish that live in it. So there, so it's to the point now you can't even drink the water. Which they say the, the, the Great Lakes is the greatest, the largest source of fresh water. Drinking fresh water on the earth, they say. And they're saying that Great Lakes is po too polluted to even drink. And that's part of that famine that's coming. Hosea 2. Here, so I can read this. Uh, 2 and 2. Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day as that she was born and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. <laughs> and I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms, for their mother hath played the harlot. And let's, let's look at this as um, Israel going off, period. She that conceived them have done shameless fully because this is twofold. For she said, I will go after my lovers, different philosophies and gods and so on and so on that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will pledge, hedge up the way by way with horns and make a wall that she shall not find her paths. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them, and she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now. For now, she, for she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiply her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore, will I return and take away my corn in the time thereof and my wine in the season thereof. And I will recover my wool and my flax given to cover her nakedness. And now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers and none shall deliver her out of my hand. This is but this is a this is most high threatening. You know. Let me get this other one here. Because it was just a s small one. Um, and, and three, slay her with thirst that I was looking at. Um, second Ezra's eight. It says, and therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high thought scorn of his law and forsook his way. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God, yea, 
in that knowing they must die. For as the things before said shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them. Let's just answer questions in our reality, you know, of why. Because Jake always asking why, 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 why. <laughs> and we're unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. Okay, so let me go back to that. Um, this here, just going over some of this here. Um, um, it says chemical toxins. Pesticides and heavy metals entered the Great Lakes. They flow from thousands of factories, discharged pipes, and sewage plants seep from dumping and disposal sites, escape from smokestacks, and ran off, ran off millions of acres of cities and farmland from states surrounding the lakes. Okay, it says here, Great Lakes Pollution Exhibit, give Earth a chance. Let's, let me click on this here. Let me find, let me show you what I was talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> Great Lakes, no free lunch. Produced by the University of Michigan Television Center in 1981. Examine the Great Lakes. That was 81. <laughs> you know, that's um that's um 42 years ago. It says, asking how this beautiful resource was undergoing slow but dangerous changes. The reason for these changes is the ongoing dumping of toxic chemicals from industrial plants. The host, Janice Reed asks, is it too late to change the trend? So the Great Lakes, they Coron, Ontario, Michigan, area, and Superior span 750 miles from west to east and are situated across nine state territory, territory borders. And it names a few of them. It names them all. Th this says here, Lake Erie is dead. Of all the Great Lakes, Lake Erie has become predominantly polluted by the 1960s. And this, that was back, just go back and how, that was, um, that's 60 some years ago, largely due to the heavy industrial presence along its shores. I'm trying to find something that's up to date. So I can... What's this here? Is that March 23rd, 2022? Restoring the Great Lakes. I ain't going to restore a goddamn thing. You know, they done transgressed the laws of the Heavenly Father for so damn long that there's no turning back. The only way that's going to clean this is just when that fire starts to consume this planet, man, and the earthquakes happen. Things are going to be rearranged and, you know, and it's going to take, uh, it's going to take some time for the actual earth to actually clean itself. It's going to take time, you know, and during that whole, that's that whole thousand years, you know, that this devil's going to be in captivity. That's the earth is going to be restoring itself during that whole time. It's going to take some time. It's not going to be, it'd be an instantaneous thing. It's going to take some time. Okay. Because you got to understand, all them nukes that's going to hit this bad boy. Is, <laughs> and again, like I said, this devil's been transgressing the laws. And Jake's and, and, been, and the whole planet, man, has been transgressing the laws of the Heavenly Father for so long. Not no land Sabbath, you know, no no Sabbath whatsoever. You know, what does it say about a Sabbath? Those that don't, uh, that don't, that don't observe it shall uh, be destroyed, you know. That person or that nation. Uh, <clears throat> I'll find it. Give me a second. Run into it. It says here more than 8 million. This is February 24, 2022. More than 8 million tons of plastic ends up across the world's oceans every year. For the Great Lakes, there's more than 22 million pounds of plastics entered, entering 
its waters every year alone, alone. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now you see why we're in the need of a savior. You see why. Um, Earth Day 2070, join photos of polluted Great Lakes. Great Lakes in peril, invasion, pollution, climate change. Uh, this one is GoErie.com. Toxic pollutants in the Great Lakes remain a colossal problem. Let me click the six facts first. And I'll come back to that. Let's see what these six facts about water pollutants. Water pollution is in the Great Lakes. You lie to drink that water, you're going to start to glowing it. Like um, the, um, the river that goes through Columbus. It's just, I mean, it looks like, it looks like diarrhea. The color of it, dads. It's funny, I even forgot the name of it. Uh, um, the Olentangy River. The Olentangy River. That's the most filthiest water I've ever seen, period, man. You know? It's, uh... Pollution in the Great Lakes has significant effect on the quality of life of 100,000 different species who call fresh water home. These fresh water ecosystems account for 0.01% of Earth's total surface area, but are among the most threatened environments due to pollutions. Imagine the impact pollution has on Lake Sturgeon who hunt lake and river bottoms using their whiskers like barbells to feed on small invertebrates. They are at risk of consuming plastic and other life-threatening pollutants on river otters who travel, play and hunt in freshwater rivers. Pictures of these otters having to play amongst the plastic bags and bottles floating down. Plastic has become part of the food chain. Plastic is in our drinking water. This is sickening, man. Okay, I said it was on the clock on this toxic pollutions. Toxic pollutions in the Great Lakes remain a colossal problem. I'm just going to go through this real quick and show you.